Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute pleasure to meet you yet again. This is Yagami, and I am here to discuss many things. First and foremost, I would like to apologize for not being able to stream lately or record any type of videos. And the biggest problem, as many of you have already suspected or already know, is that I've contracted an ear infection. My own laziness and lack of uh, caution, should I say, because my earphones, my headset that I use a lot, is not clean. I don't really clean it that much, of course. Too much laziness. And I was scratching my ear, and I knew at the time, because I kind of scratched it a tiny bit too hard, that there's going to be something happening. And surely, the next morning, ears swollen, and it hurts. It hurts a lot. I even made another mistake, thinking that it's not something, well, probably not something big, because sometimes I do have some sort of a pimple, <laughs> yeah, I know, growing inside my ear, which hurts a tiny bit. It hurts that day, maybe two, and then it goes away, and then I'm all right. Maybe rubbing some alcohol on it is going to make it go away, but the problem was not simple. Of course, I had to go to the doctor, and he recommended, aside from medication, of course, antibiotics and all those things, he recommended that I could not, and I should not put earphones until I am fully healed. So that's the biggest reason I am unable to do anything of the sort, because I can't put headphones, and my microphone is attached to the headphones, and without them, I will not be able to have a quality video, so to say, because it's hard to isolate the sound and all those things. Either way, hopefully I'll be back sooner more than later. So, again, I do apologize. That's for my first topic. My second topic is talking about the amazing Armin, which is a YouTuber who had to stop doing his passion, doing the thing that he loves the most, because he was unable to, because of life, because of many other problems, and he submitted a video talking about all those things and uh, saying goodbye to the community, which really makes me sad, because I am in the same line of, I don't know, let's not call it profession, because it's not really one, you don't get paid, and that's a problem that we'll talk about shortly, but he's in the same line of work. He make videos out of passion, I've checked his channel, because honestly, uh, I do apologize if he ever watches this video, but I've known no Algerian YouTubers until only recently. I'm a guy that always follows Americans and uh, Europeans and all those other YouTubers that we kinda grew up watching, because they were the pioneers of this domain, so you'll excuse me if I don't know that many Algerians that makes things, or that makes these things. So, as he was talking about the things that made him stop, and as another YouTuber by the amazing name of Ali Plays was talking about the problems that he was facing, I felt like he was talking about me, because those are the same problems we are facing. You see, we don't get paid to the do these kind of things, because if we did, even if you have a good amount of viewers, we're not going to get paid, because those viewers are going to be localized in Algeria, and there's no much, not much ads running in Algeria, obviously, there's not much businesses, foreign businesses that work here, so there isn't targeted ads, thus, you will not earn that much, even you'll not earn anything, really from making videos. I mean, if I have to be an example, although they don't, they tell you not to share these kind of information, I don't care. I've been making videos for three years now. My YouTube channel has been active for that amount of time. My only revenue was 0 0.04 <laughs> That's not even one dollar in three years. So you can imagine, of course, in those three years, streaming became a possibility, which is something that is really exciting because I've always 
wanted to stream since streaming was a thing and it becoming a possibility really made me excited so I started streaming however even streaming isn't paying ads well and streaming bills are kind of high because you have two internets and you need to pay both of those internets in order to be able to stream so you can imagine add to that family problems issues in your life maybe you don't have a job uh, the arm in, in person has a job so it's even worse sometimes because if you want to support your own dream you have to work you have to have an income in order to live and for me i am jobless currently but i am actively looking for a job so you can imagine that you have eight hours of work a day and then you come back and you need to stream and record and make all those things it is absolutely challenging to be honest with you even this video that i'm making now was a challenging aspect because there's many things that are currently happening from my brother's surgery to the usual you know shopping and you do this you do that you have to go here you have to go there i was supposed to do this video two days ago and i couldn't physically all of these things are stressful all of these things will easily get the better of you like they did and i understand him really 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 uh, a lot there is there is it's like he's talking about the same things that we are facing and it's the same thing that any algerian content creator is facing is that you have to make time in your life and you have to work in order to be able to support making time in your life for making videos and streams and all those things and that's the difference between us in Algeria and other content creators because if you blew up as a content creator even though it's not a big big blow blow up you know if you have a good regular hundred viewers per video you're gonna make a decent income you're gonna be able to live off the jobs that you are making it's going to be another source of income so you will be kind of more excited to make this even if just for the fact that you will be able to pay for equipment for making videos for many other things that you have in your mind for being able to buy the videos that you want to play that thought alone is gonna definitely make anyone who's trying to quit come back because if they can be able to support themselves no one will be quitting trust me we have such a low standard in this domain that if we earn just around 60 dollars a month it's going to be enough for us to always be playing because at least we know that if there is a new game we can buy it so that's the probably the main thing that made armin stop and it's something that i have to challenge myself and face every day trust me i've, I've thought about quitting i've thought about the idea that i have no views on my channel i've thought about the idea that my stream is pointless i have zero viewers on twitch it's been almost a year for me 11 months since i was streaming and it doesn't really matter because no one watches me and that's the problem also my own problem because i do stream in english and it's a pretty crowded domain and i'm not advertising and i'm not working hard enough but either way if there was some sort of a local community that will give you the push that you need then you would probably be able to continue and you'll be able to do the things that you love to do as a content creator which is not something that can be said about the algerian community sadly and it's not because they're you know there's uh bad aspects of it we'll talk about that later it's just because in other countries, for example, uh, if someone is quitting his community and some other gaming communities that know about him or have similar things that they like about the games that they play or all those things, they may get together and uh, do some sort of a fundraising in order for him to stay a while, if also, or if, if only for a while. And that's something that we can't do here. This is a subject that Ali talked about uh, in his uh, recent videos a lot and yeah, it hits, it really uh, hits me 
in the core. Although to be perfectly honest with you, I never intended to do this thing as a mean to make money. This was a dream for me. I've always had this dream of making videos, of streaming, of playing video games, having an opinion, of bringing all kind of uh, content to the channel and I've never really thought about making money but now that I've been making this for quite a bit of time I understand why you need the income and it's uh, it's a sudden in fact and to be honest with you even I I am really 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 fighting hard not to stop making this if it wasn't a passion burning inside me every day if the video gaming world does not burn inside me I'll probably give up because come on you can't juggle all those things and uh, remain in good health and uh, remain sane so again I understand why some people stop so yeah this is my uh, two cents about the subject and I wish that he doesn't stop I wish that there is some sort of a work around and uh, maybe his community is going to be backing him up and uh, he's going to be coming back as soon as he can however it is unlikely we wish but it is unlikely either way a third aspect that i wanted to talk about is the algerian gaming community and this is a subject that again ali plays was talking about and uh, the fact that the gaming community now is a simple gaming community that is focused solely on PUBG and Fortnite and some scattered small cells focusing about Counter-Strike and uh, some other games that are multiplayer only. And all those people, even in my own family, they don't know any other games. They don't try to know any other games or branch out or try to research or see the companies or, you know, maybe even have a dream of uh, making video games or programming all those things. They only do this as if though they're watching some sort of a soccer or football match. It's just like the same thing for them, which is kind of sad to be honest because the gaming industry is a huge one and before this new gaming community that is forming in Algeria there used to be the 90s gaming community that disappeared because we got old and we got married and children and all those things so you can imagine that gaming community was more used to video games and arcades and understanding companies and what they make and being excited about titles you know and fighting games and FPSs and all those lovely things so that community kind of disappeared between the early 2000s and uh, uh, recent years and now the rise of the newer, younger community which is all about PUBG and it's something that irritates me too just like Ali put it, just like we, he was talking about this all they care about is those two games and they will come to your channel, they will find you playing some sort of a new game or some sort of an outlandish game like the one that you are seeing currently in the background which is Warhammer uh, 40k Dawn of War 3 and they will just tell you to go play PUBG and if you tell them no, then they will either dislike and leave or insult you or whatever I'm sorry, this channel is not about PUBG I did play PUBG for a long time and I no longer care about that game it is highly unlikely that I'm gonna be coming back to that game unless there is something colossal changing about it and my channel is more about let's play to, let's plays of other games and discovery and opinions reviews and all those things in English not even in Arabic I it's not even Arabic it's Darja so I'm not it's not focused around those things so to have people, you know, come in here and not even speaking or trying to speak English and then just telling me to play PUBG like some sort of a simple-minded cell or whatever, it's just irritating sometimes. And it happens more regularly than I thought. And the other aspect is that because of the communities growing those, in those two games, sorry about the car outside, uh, there is also the other quote-unquote yes come on car 
So, quote unquote, you know, uh, content creators, those content creators are trying to make videos only centered around those two games and they have their own agenda, they want to just make money, which is a dream that they are chasing without facts, without working hard, without, they just want to play those games, they're going to just display those games on their, their YouTube channels or their streamer, stream, uh, you know, Twitch channels or whatever, they don't care about the gaming scene, all they want to do is chase this dream, what they do not know, well, what they, I keep saying is that you can't do this as a means to try to make money. It doesn't work that way. It's your hobby. You do your things that you do. You try to entertain and if you make money, it's a side. It's a reward of your hard work. You can't just decide I'm going to be making a bunch of PUBG videos and it's going to be exploding and I'm going to be making pretty penny from people from uh, you know uh, the Middle East because we know the uh, we know the recipe sort of say and people are trying to goad me for many times now many people are trying to tell me you should stop what you're doing you should stop playing overwatch you should stop playing the games that you are playing and you should just start making videos to the Middle East uh, you have a good voice and uh, you're probably gonna be making money that's not me that's not why I'm making videos on this YouTube channel. I'm making YouTube videos on this YouTube channel because it's a passion project of mine. I'm making this because I want to, because I want to expose the world, especially if there is an Algerian community that wants to speak English, wants to elevate their language skills past just French, you know, to get to know the maximum amount of new games and uh, to be following the true gaming community not just to play two games not even knowing the companies that they made them many people I ask that are super passionate about PUBG and uh, uh, you know uh, Fortnite they don't know the companies that they made them they don't know why player unknown Buttergrounds is called player unknown Buttergrounds which is Come on, you're playing this game every day for several hours. You don't know a damn thing about it. That's just sad. So yeah, my objective have always been to try to expose my community and my brethren, the youngest, uh, the youngsters here to a new language, to try to learn English with me if they are willing to and to try to expose them to new games because that's my passion that's who i am and i play many games a lot a ton of games such as the one like i said on the background which is an amazing game i'm a big fan of it so yeah the community in the end is really really in its infancy here and it reads a lot of guidance and a lot of a lot of role models, tournaments and many many organization in order to be able to get it on its feet and uh, evolve. It just saddens me that every tournament around the world includes so much countries, even Morocco and Tunisia, yet Algeria is always absent. What do they have that, that we don't? We can talk about Europeans and uh, developed countries and the fact that it's easy for them certainly but our neighbors are doing this and they are in the same rubbish that we are in so why aren't we doing the same thing that they are doing they are much more evolved than us it's just sad either way this topic is a big one and hopefully we'll have some sort of a organized discussion about this me and uh, some others and uh, we'll talk more in depth and uh, we'll try to do something in the domain so this has been Yagami ladies and gentlemen I thank you so much for being here and following me and I will see you as soon as I am able to come back to streaming and making videos until then take good care of yourselves and have a nice day